Hi, Bruce from Safari, and today I'm talking about AI and explaining to our followers what we're doing in the AI field. Now, when you build an AI board, it just can't be a tack on to an instrument or a controller that you've had in the past. The example I give people is the iPhone when it came out. So when the iPhone was created, it had a GPS integrated into it, it had a payment gateway that came into it, it also had a whole set of messaging services, and because of that, Uber was created. So the Uber product was created after the entirely new platform. And that's what we're doing here. This is an entirely new platform that we're creating to make a whole new range of marine electronics and RV electronics. The board I'm holding up here has actually got an AI chip on it. Uh, and I'll explain what the problem is and why have AI. So this is for electric tenders. These have got a limited battery capacity on them. We can actually dial up this board from anywhere in the world, interrogate the motor, interrogate the batteries, have a look at how the whole system's performing. The user wants to know how long will that electric tender run for, uh, how many nautical miles will it go, will it get back to the ship, uh, etc. The power that we can run with our lithium batteries is now at a 3C discharge. So we can have only three lithium batteries driving 15 kilowatt, 22 kilowatt uh, motor, but the range is quite short. And then when it comes back to the boat, you recharge it again. So range anxiety is uh, quite a factor in this. And also the other opportunity here is to let the operator know the most efficient way to drive the boat. And that's the reason why we have the AI. So just to explain the AI, I'm gonna put up some other images here. What happens in AI is you gather in a number of features, it's called, the sensor values that are brought into it. And here we've got 50 features coming into this board uh, from seven different sensors. Once you gather those features in, uh, you then have a number of what's called neurons. And here we've got two hidden layers, we've got 64 and 32. And those neurons are reading all the data from the features, from the sensors, and they've all got weightings on them. When the weightings are multiplied out, it's called a MAC. And then from those neurons, it feeds forward a model that then gives you an outcome on the uh, range to go in this particular case. Uh, we're also running models that are listening to the um, engine noise to detect if there's a problem with it. And of course, we're also reading the battery, so alerts and alarms that come from the battery. Now, uh, this particular model, and one reason why I'm in the, in the video, is I decided I'd write the training model myself. I have not coded in 25 years, but I actually wrote this model, and we've got it up in Git, so I did the whole training model myself to really, really understand the AI. And I can imagine that the application of AI here is very, very deep. So we've already identified uh, five applications using exactly the same board, but they're different software distributions uh, for RVs, for refrigeration, for auxiliary power units, and for sailing boats with electric drives. Uh, they all need AI to give the user better peace of mind in whatever they're doing. In the RV example, we can give you dynamically exactly the weight and the best tire pressure to get the best fuel economy, um, and we can also record how rough the road is and share that with other people. It's quite something. So this particular, if we look at the actual board we've got here, uh, we've had to design special connectors. This one here uh, has a NEMA connector on it, as well as power in and also 12 volt out. And then we've also got to have an ethernet connector to go into an MFD. And it also has on it an eSIM. Uh, it's got a modem on it so it can communicate. Uh, and it's all done here from Australia. So if you're in the marine market, want to see our products running, you're probably going to Mets Trade in Amsterdam in November. We're in Hall 7. Come and feel the AI and look at the full range of products. We'll have videos there of our actual test data and the performance. I've got to say, how good's that?